Mm. Is there any better smell than the fragrance of simple country bread from your own simple country kitchen? Cue the birds. Cue the cow. <laughs> Not that loud. <laughs> Fran, come and look at who's on TV. Wow. Who is that? It's Sarah Lipschitz from Flushing High. <gasps> she lost 50 pounds, changed her hair color, and learned how to use a tweezer. You know, Val, she was always voted most likely to become a shiksa. <laughs> and now I have a surprise for our regular viewers. I finally realized my lifelong dream, and I've bought my own farm in the country. So in the near future, all of our shows will be brought to you from there. What does she know about living on a farm? The woman got poison oak visiting the nature company. <laughs> Ugh, that poor thing stuck all the way out there in the country. No stores, uh. no movies. Mm. Mm. And all the men all work with their hands. Ah. They're big and brawny and sweaty. Ugh. We should go visit her. <laughs> Joe Sarah, darling. Thank you. <laughs> Enjoyed your little joke about moving the show to the country. <laughs> Why is only one of us laughing? Go ahead and laugh. My mother's coming with me and she loves the idea. I'm not living here. You can't make me. Mom, I can't leave you all alone in that apartment in Queens. So buy me a bird. Just try to be more positive. You haven't even seen the house yet. It dates back to the time of Thomas Jefferson. It still has all the original plumbing fixtures. Sarah, honey, I say this as positively as I can. How is that a good thing? Where is Greg? Greg! And that's another thing. You're never gonna meet a man out here. Dating isn't a priority in my life. Obviously. Four million men in New York, and you're spending your time with some pompous married English schmuck. I resent that. I'm divorced. And, and we're not dating. He, he, he produces my show. We work together. Sometimes we go to business functions. He's not my boyfriend. I'm not even attracted to him. OK, Sarah, she gets the point. So what do you think of the farm? Do you really, really, really just love, love, love it? Well, as your uh, unattractive producer, <laughs> I must say I think it's a great idea shooting the show out here. Oh, put a talking horse in a barn, I think we've got a hit. Listen, Greg, if I'm going to go on television every week telling people how to live the simple country life, I should live it. And besides, a home like this has been my lifelong dream. Is this a deer tick? No. That is. Great, I'm gonna die of Lyme disease. Oh, there's lots of ways to die in the country. You could be mangled by farm equipment. <laughs> Drown in a manure pit. Did you ever read about a family of six getting murdered on the Upper East Side? No. It's always been a farmhouse. <laughs> I'll make some tea. Hello? May I help you? Yes, ma'am. Are you Sarah Campbell? Yes. Oh, I'm the foreman around here. Sorry I'm a couple of days late, but this is a busy time of year for my stud service. <laughs> I had no idea it was seasonal. Bulls. I breed bulls. Oh, yeah. Of course you do, Ecule. It's Luke. The belt's on upside down. Oh, well, you really done the place up here. You the decorator? There's no water in the sink. Which may explain why Thomas Jefferson moved out. <laughs> you have to prime the pump, which is behind the chicken coop. I'll just suck on the bag. <laughs> oh, come on, I'll show you how it's done. It gets a little messy. Uh, you won't be offended if I take my shirt off, will you? Maybe I could live here. <laughs> So, 
what she like? Ah, uh, she's like everybody else who ever owned this farm. I give her two months, and she's gonna hightail it back to Starbucks and Planet Hollywood and, you know, Studio 57. <laughs> Uncle Luke gets Heinz 57 in Studio 54. I'm going out to feed my pig. Well, you just fed him five minutes ago, honey. Maybe he's hungry again. I'll just check. You really do love that pig, don't you, darling? Uncle Luke, she's force-feeding him with a funnel. I want to win the largest pig at the state fair again. First prize in kids eight and under gets a shotgun. All right, I don't want to hear another word from either one of you. Now, I promised my sister that if anything ever happened, I'd take care of the two of you and raise you up right. And that's exactly what I intend to do. Uncle Luke, when you promised Mom that you'd take care of us if anything ever happened to her, you didn't think anything was going to happen, did you? Hell no. <laughs> Hello? May I help you? <laughs> this is Sarah Campbell's house? Yes, it is. But I must warn you, if you're some sort of obsessed fan that's come here to dedicate your pathetic little life to her service, well, <laughs> I was here first. <laughs> oh, you're the wacko who was stalking my mother. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she hired me. <laughs> the lawyer said it'd be cheaper than getting a restraining order, so I'm in. <laughs> What are you doing here? It's fall break. Well, you know, like, um, spring break, but in the fall. <laughs> well, I, I'm so glad you're here. What do you think of our house? Well, Mom, I mean, it's one thing to have a condo in Manhattan decked out like a country farmhouse. At least there, you can step outside and hail a cab to therapy. <laughs> <laughs> but, darling, in the country, you don't need therapy. If you feel tense, you just milk something. <laughs> You're gonna love it here. The pace of life is so serene and peaceful. Where the hell are you? Everybody's waiting. Come on, come on, come on. Now, I want you teamsters to be careful out there. We're on a farm. If you hit it, you gotta eat it. <laughs> this is your mark. This is your camera. And this is the Wonder Bra. Great. I just want you to try it. No. <laughs> oh, honey, honey, stay. We can talk while they do this. So, how is school? Tell me everything. Well, you actually... move. You're in the turkey's key light. Uh, don't go too far. I, I really want to talk. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. I can't see the monitor. Miss Campbell, I think you should see this. No, I don't have time to look at a magazine right now. I'm talking to my daughter. Where is she? It's Martha Stewart wearing that blouse. Wardrobe! Sarah! Since you're changing anyway. No! Excuse me? Listen, I just got back from the feed store. There's trucks in the cornfields, and there's a cable everywhere, and this stupid-looking Italian sports car blocking my barn. It's an English sports car. Oh, that explains why it didn't start. <laughs> so where's Miss Campbell? I'm trying to run a farm here, and I've been lied to, pushed around, and insulted by some of the rudest people I ever met in my life. I mean, what the hell is this? It's television, my good man. People, uh, before we get started, I just want to thank you all for coming all this way to make this possible. I made each of you a simple life birdhouse. <laughs> It's an exact replica of my barn. <laughs> it's just my way of saying you're all very special. Uh, wasn't like this on Tic Tac Toe. We never gave a damn. She built birdhouses for 50 people? Yeah, she only sleeps four hours a night. Even then, she's pressing wildflowers under her box spring. <laughs> I don't know what you do around here, but I'd find another job. I mean, she's not bad looking, but she's a little squirrely. She's okay. You know, she's just wound a little tight. And she wants her daughter to be exactly like her, and it's never gonna happen. And how do you know all that? I'm her daughter. <laughs> you know, squirrely's a compliment on a farm. <laughs> what on earth is the matter with you? I'm just so happy to be part of this family. <laughs> Me? Okay, here we go. In five, four, three, two. Hello. 
I'm Sarah Campbell, and welcome to The Simple Life. What is that? That's my taxi. I can't take the country. Although I'll miss you very much. You can't leave. Look, look, Frederick is here. It's fall break. There's no such thing as fall break. Did you get kicked out of school again? <gasps> yeah. <laughs> First, every private girls' school in Manhattan. Are you going to continue this on the college level? You've got to move on. <laughs> that is totally unacceptable. What, Mom? The timing's bad for you? Don't worry. I do it so often. Eventually, I'll hit the right moment. <laughs> Frederica. Frederica. Wait, wait, very good, then. On with the show. Now, would anyone who's not holding a camera, a microphone, or a donut please get out of the kitchen? Excuse me, Mrs. Campbell. What are you still doing here? Well, I can't get into my barn to feed my bull. He's not in there. We needed the space for a wardrobe rack. <laughs> You let him out? No, he just went when I opened the door. <laughs> well, where the hell is he? Well, why don't you go and look for him? Because he's not in the bloody kitchen. <laughs> what is this, another break already? Be here. Mom? Was that Freddy? No, I was checking on my pizza. The nearest Domino's is in Yonkers. <laughs> it's delivered in five hours or it's free. <laughs> Freddy? Sarah Lipschitz! <laughs> uh, you know, my mother gave me the directions, but I can't go by her. Huh? She's in Fen Fen withdrawal. <laughs> Uh-huh. Uh, okay, so we go five miles down the road, and then we make a left at the two donkeys. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we'll see you soon, Sarah. Bye. Oh, thank you. You know, you may want to stay up there a couple of more minutes. Do we have to make another call? Well, we're thinking about it, Val. <laughs> Just gonna take off an inch, inch and a half. I'll leave it long in the back. <laughs> so, you have kids? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm shearing a sheep. I realize it's 11 at night and I could buy wool in a store and no one would care, but I care. Okay? I admit it. Here in this barn in upstate New York, I admit that I am a nutso crazed perfectionist who drives everyone away because I need every detail perfect. I was just going to say you're holding the clippers upside down. <laughs> my life is out of control. How do you figure? Well, my daughter just flunked out of school again. My, my kitchen was destroyed by a horny bull. And my producer keeps trying to convince our insurance company that we're covered for stampede. At least your mother's still here. Well, that's only because I told her you were gonna chop wood in a Speedo. <laughs> you don't have to do it. Have you ever done this before? Yes. Okay, no. But that doesn't mean I can't. I am America's, America's for foremost authority on country living. I know. I went down to Betty's book nook and checked you out. I've read 13 books. Entire bestseller, just on toast. <laughs> That one just wrote itself. Uh, you're, you're not doing it right. Just clamp it between your legs and go fast. Have you met my ex-husband? Listen, it doesn't mean that you're not an independent and remarkable woman if uh, you just let me show you how to shear them. Wait, I'll... Hop on. <laughs> Gee, your shoe smells terrific. Uh, yeah. You you have to wash and condition before a cut, otherwise it doesn't hang right. <laughs> Everybody knows that. <laughs> right, snowball. No, 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 no. You don't start naming the farm animal. Why not? 
because unless that lamb's first name is Rakov, you're setting yourself up for a heartbreak. I, I don't uh, really need any more of that. Well, you can't expect your daughter to be exactly like you. Well, who said I expect that? Well, she did. She also said you were a little squirrely, but I told her to show some respect. I thought moving to the country was going to make my life simple. Life ain't simple, no matter where you live it. Although, if you lived here somewhere else, it might make mine a lot simpler. I thought I heard chopping. No, no. <laughs> Not yet, Mother. Okay. Call me. Damn freaking bomb chicken crap! It's not my fault! It's not my fault that damn cow would ever chase me a mile down the driveway! I think he likes you. Next time you come, I wouldn't wear that musk oil for men. What are you doing here? Oh, great news. Everyone loves the whole Sarah Campbell on the farm thing. We can really cash in on this. We'll put the restaurant here, the, the souvenir shop. Of course, we'll have to pave those fields to make a parking lot. Well, then it won't be a farm anymore. That's a good point, Jethro. <laughs> so, you won't be necessary anymore. You can just hop on your bull and ride out of town. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Every, everybody just hold on. I mean, do, do I want to take on more, or, or do I want to pay attention more to what I already have? I mean, where is it written that I have to be a miserable workaholic perfectionist? Well, I'm sure it's in your contract somewhere. <laughs> I think your daughter's home. Excuse me. So, oh, uh... You did this, didn't you? You said something to her. Some sort of damn cracker barrel homespun wisdom you picked up on Hee Haw? No one would talk to me that way if I was you. And why not? Because your car's stuck in the mud and you might just find yourself walking across that pasture all alone. <laughs> I'm Will. I'm your mother's caretaker's sister's son. So, naturally, we're going to be very close. <laughs> Are you hitting on me? No! No! I just wanted you to know that while you're here, I'd be glad to show you around the farm, the barn, haystacks, hayrides, the hayloft. <laughs> In your dreams. <laughs> oh, that's already a given. <laughs> You're still here? Well, I only need four hours of sleep. <laughs> it's amazing how much I'm like your mother. <laughs> you must think I am such a jerk. I mean, you think she's so great, and I can't even get through one day with her. Eh, you wouldn't understand. Well, it's hard being the daughter of someone who's achieved so much. I mean, the pressure is enormous, and anything you do will just pale in comparison. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh. Melanie, I see you've glued a pine cone to your head again. <laughs> There's alcohol in what's left of the kitchen. Will that dissolve the glue? No. I'd like a drink. <laughs> Rough day, huh? Oh, actually, it, uh, it worked out okay. It always does. For you. Well, I'm, I'm very good at creating the illusion of a happy home. But the really happy home is the one you're happy to come home to. Mom, if that shows up on a mug, I will sell your prom picture to hard copy. <laughs> Look, uh, let, me, let me just say it. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I should have realized a long time ago that my way is not always the right way for, for you. I just can't go to a school where they can expel you for wearing white shoes after Labor Day. <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, let's compromise. You know, there's a community college in town. Mom, you went to community college and you hated it. I, I know, but but I'm me and, and you're you. And you could stay here. Do you want me here? I mean, 
You've got Grandma. Yes, I really want you here. <laughs> then I want to be here. But, Mother, you are not going to change me. Oh, honey. Of course I will. <laughs> Mom, where are you going? Luke's pushing Greg's car out of the mud. He's wet. He's muddy. And we don't get cable out here. <laughs> The Simple Life. We'll be right back. Oh, Sarah Lab Jazz, if you can hear us, we're lost. Did you hear something? <laughs> Hello! There it is again. What is that? Probably one of my heifers wandering around out in the field. Too dumb to find the barn. Oh. Oh. Maybe she'll be okay in the morning. I'm getting ready to turn my bull loose out there, and he's feeling awfully frisky. 